move on for the things. We have to move on. We work hard. And things are doable. So energy crisis got to be taken very seriously. And all, all, can you believe that cogent policy by Abdullah Sahib is here, 2007 may introduce the end of actually the legal shape it took 2008. Not a single project has been uh, put in under cogent policy 2008 in Pakistan. Not a single project. The reason, there are certain inherent weaknesses. If you make a policy to favor one single uh, entrepreneur, obviously the result will be what we are seeing. Look at India. They have 5 megawatt, 10 megawatt. You produce, not only that, you just use yours, you give in the grid system and you take another industrial unit in synth, you take it. And you just give wheeling charges. We are not committed to solve these problems. So energy crisis, though very, very serious, very deep, are resolvable. I'm not sounding over optimist, but are resolvable provided there is a political will. So energy is, is certainly an issue. Uh, availability of credit for uh, private sector, yes. I think two, prob two problems have been faced by the business community in, in post-2008. A, I won't go into debate of inflation, but I will come in later, but A, high interest rates, making them non-competitive. When the world was giving 0 to 2% uh, lending rates, and Pakistan was having at least 14 to 16 plus 3 or 4% above margin, spread so you are talking of 18 to 20 percent who what does this still compete with uh, those countries where the uh, the markup is or interest rate is zero to two percent if your uh, business uh, business people are giving 20 percent and if the government is borrowing let's see even hypothetically the rate is sustainable and and uh, and affordable when the government has been borrowing from the and and uh, uh, taking all the money most of the money for their own, uh, you know, ayashiya and uh, expenditure, fiscal deficit financing. So, they obviously, the, the, the Shahid Tardar cannot, uh, uh, you know, continue, or any governor cannot continue to print notes. Inflation is a compound result of our fiscal deficit, our uh, M2 growth, which unfortunately back to a double digit already. 16-17% pay M2 growth jari aapki, printing of notes. It was a, with great difficulty in 98, 99, I brought it down to 6%, but it has gone back to 16, 17%. Recently, I think it's 12%. Shayat is 12, 12, 12, M2, M2 growth, 15. Listen, so kaise hoga ye? How can you, unless you, you know, Shahid ne kaha tha, ke structural reform and likhe in Pakistan to continue. No, you are in serious macroeconomic imbalances. You have to remove those. And unless you remove those with political will and, uh, you know, proper uh, policies, you will continue to see this slide you are seeing already in witnessing uh, in Pakistan. So, government borrowing, A, it obviously uh, creates inflation, and B, it uh, does not leave for the private sector. Why a bank, a banker, you are all, myself are dealing with the business houses and corporate sector. Why a banker would lend to a businessman at 3% uh, even above uh, Khyber or 2% above Khyber when commodity loan of provinces are being financed at 3% above Khyber? A banker must be mad. He has a commodity at the back, sovereign guarantee in hand, 3% plus uh, Khyber, province doesn't pay, federal government has to pay. So, you know, the th th things are there. Our problem is, as I said, implementation. So I think uh, credit, we've got to make sure that this uh, government, uh, you know, borrowing from uh, the central bank uh, must stop. I, uh, by the way, I do express all these concerns, all these ideas, not here, but also in the Senate and Finance Committee and wherever I get an opportunity, because it is my duty as Pakistani that I must flag and should not wait for my next term, third time finance minister. I'm not interested. I am interested that the things should get settled as early as possible. Because I think if we, if we do not move, we every day, every hour, every second is precious time of Pakistan and it must not be wasted. I think we've got to, got to solve this, uh, this inflation is back again and 16-17% uh, percent chali gayi. I mean, fuel prices are okay, there are core uh, items, hai, but still we are still in double digit inflation. 
دنیا کہیں اور جا رہی ہم کسی اور طرف جا رہے ہیں جب دنیا دوسری طرف جائے گی ہمارا محل دوسرا اشر ہو جائے گا سو ویل نیور اس کے ساتھ ہم اپنے آپ کو بلینڈ نہیں کر سکیں گے دنیا کے ساتھ اگر ہم نے اپنی پالیسیز کو اسی طرح ڈائریکشن میں رکھا کوڈیکٹیو میجرز نیڈ ٹو بی ٹیکن اٹر لیسٹ لائک وائز جی ڈی پی گروتھ اے کنٹری وچ ایز پاپولیشن آف ٹو پوائنٹ تھری پرسینٹ گروتھ ہاؤ کین اٹ بی سسٹینیبل جی ڈی پی گروتھ دی اکانومی وی ٹو پوائنٹ فور پرسینٹ جی ڈی پی یو کانٹ اس از زیرو بیکاز یو پاپولیشن ٹو پوائنٹ تھری یو آر ہیونگ جی ڈی پی گروتھ ٹو پوائنٹ فور سو اٹس ورچولی بیلنسڈ سو آئی ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو ٹیک مور آف یور ٹائم اسٹیبل ایکسچینج ریٹ ایز ایکسپلین از اندر ویری امپورٹنٹ فیکٹر دیٹ بٹ وہ اکیلا نہیں ہو سکتا یو کانٹ ڈو فکس ان آئسولیشن It has to be the, as I said, that macroeconomic imbalances need to be fixed right now. And then you move on and you see the results. Poverty. I'm uh, glad, uh, uh, Dr. Sab, if I listened to you correctly, you said the uh, World Bank has uh, recognized $2. I have been yelling I have been yelling in the last three, four years. It's over a decade. The same dollar does not purchase, even if you have a dollar in hand, does not send the same number of commodities. Inflation factor as it should be two dollars. My, my, my budget speech is opening, uh, the debate in Senate, I have all these, uh, and I've been yelling, 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 and today I'm, I'm glad to hear that uh, World Bank also has adopted not two dollars. If you take two dollars, I don't want to uh, make you feel bad, your 74% population is below two dollars a day, as of today. The figure you are given, Poverty reduction, uh, uh, sorry, poverty figure is based on either calorie or a dollar a day. But if you take two dollars at benchmark, which now dogs are faced two and a half, even at two dollars you are over 73% population uh, under the poverty. I mean, can we, uh, can we imagine in this new millennium and all, uh, you know, this fanfare and business and uh, uh, worldwide things are still, we are, you know, way behind, 73% of the population is earning less than $2 a day.